You are watching Kit Cabinet and this is the inbox review of the Revell Vampire Mark III in 172nd scale. So, Revell released this very nice vampire recently. We'll have a look inside in a minute. But Ravel also has like a tendency to release kits that were developed by other manufacturers earlier and this is no exception. This kit uh, was um, released by Special Hobby before so this is basically the Special Hobby kit. And the Special Hobby kit is a very nice kit. There's also another thing however and that's that Ravel has also released another vampire for some time now and it looks like this and that kit is like almost 40 years old and it's okay for that time but nowhere no way near this. This is like yeah, a very nice kit as you will see right now. Okay so here's the sprues and um, well the thing I can tell by the first look is like it's fantastic very nice. Let's have a closer look So yeah, the recessed panel lining, wheel wells, there's a truckload of detail, some ordnance here, rockets, a very nicely detailed cockpit, instrument panel, and the other sprue. Yeah, equally nice. I mean, hope you can see this. I mean, look at this. Yeah, here we have the transparencies, which look nice and clear. There's a little bit of distortion in the canopies, but mm, it's doable. And what they also did, which is <laughs> yeah, on one hand it's very nice. Uh, they included like transparent wingtips so the navigation lights uh, will be transparent. However, there's one problem. <laughs> As, uh, well, with the Mark III version which uses the rounded wingtips. Yeah. And that's that the um, the navigation light, the cap, is supposed to be transparent, which is very nice. But however are you going to color the light bulb inside? So you would still yeah, need to remove like the, 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 the light cap. I have a tutorial for that, I'll put that in the description. But um, yeah, for the Mark III version it's a bit like, well, nice try, really cool. It's a bit bit of a bit of a shame that I have to whine about that, but yeah. Whereas for the Mark V version, they also included the Mark V wingtips, the the, the clipped uh, wingtips, and here you can like easily drill out the the places where the light bulbs would be, and you can build a nice Mark V. But the the decals, the decals included, are for a Mark III. So here are the decals and they look equally nice. It's a top quality kit. So if you want a good vampire from Revell, buy this one. The other one is an old kit. This is the good one. And you can also build an FB5 version of this one. The parts are included. The instructions, a very nice booklet. In full color.
with your sprue map and all the parts that you wouldn't need blacked out which are of course the parts that you would want to use if you want to build an FP5 or another version the parts are included so and very clear instructions it's like um, it's not a very uh, uh, difficult kit but it's um, there's a lot of parts so it may be a bit daunting for the, the the starting modeler if you have a bit of experience as a modeler this uh, kit should uh, go together without any problems the painting instructions colors I think they're a bit boring because they're all metal so I'll probably build something else but hey that's just me and that wraps it all up if you want a vampire in 170 second scale get this one it's really nice Thank you for watching and until the next video.